Here we need to solve for x, and x is mixed up with this fraction. Negative 3x over 7 equals negative 6. So how do we deal with that? Well, when you have x on the top of a fraction like this, a negative 3x over 7, another way to write that is separating the fraction and the x uh, and then keeping them multiplied together. So this is the same as negative 3 sevenths times x. Just two different ways to write the same thing. And I'll put the rest of the equation in here too, equals negative 6. Now, if you have a fraction multiplied by x, the way to get rid of that is to multiply by its inverse or its reciprocal. So if I multiply this by negative 7 thirds, so all I did was flip this fraction upside down, a wonderful thing is going to happen. A negative times a negative is a positive, and this 7 and this 7 cancel, top cancels with bottom, and this 3 and this 3 cancel, and all you have left is x. Of course, I multiplied this side of the equation by negative 7 thirds. I need to do the same thing over here. So on this side, we have x. On this side, well, a negative times a negative is a positive. 7 times 6 is 42. So we have 42 thirds, and 42 divided by 3, that's 14. 